Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Electric Cuts. Uh, I'm wearing this because it's very hot outside. It's probably like 103, 104 degrees. Uh, and I'm cutting extremely high uh, grass and weeds. This is St. Augustine and uh, it's got tons of weeds. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys. And uh, <clears throat> I know my channel is called Electric Cuts, but I'm starting to move over into a little bit more commercial style uh, mowing. So uh, I have a, a Honda, one of the new Hondas. Uh, let me show you what I'm cutting right now. I already cut most of it. I should have gotten it on video, but here we go. So here it is, guys. Um, it's super tall. It's about as tall as the mower, if you can see. Look at that grass. And it's, uh, it was pretty much maybe like, uh, I'd say 50% of the lawn, about this tall. So I've got this little hacker going here. You can see there's tons of grass here on my little trash bag. So I'm opening up the rear discharge chute all the way, because it was a clumping up. So uh, you gotta be very careful. I've done this with electric mowers. Uh, I'd never really tried it too much with a gas mower because they're a lot more powerful. But here it is. Let me show you a little clip of me cutting. Let me see if I can find a place to set the camera. Okay, here we go, guys. Hopefully you can see that okay. Here we go. So yeah guys, there it is. If you've let your grass go for, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks and you're dealing with this issue, uh, you could do that. Do that at your own risk. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm saying this is very dangerous and uh, actually you shouldn't do it, especially if you have rocks on your property or other things that could be shot out of that rear chute. I'm just doing this because I have to. Um, and I'm trying to be as cautious as I can. Alrighty guys, we'll see you guys on the next video.